Hello, everybody. This is Bill McFadden from TonePure.com. And in this video, we're going to take a look at the AMC 3 controller right here. It's easily programmable, and we'll go over how that's done at the end of the video. I've been using the AMC controller for a couple of months or so now, and now it's a permanent part of my workstation desk. The one feature that sets it apart from other controllers is it has a four inch throw that allows you to fine tune CC11, CC7, and CC1 or whatever CC values you want to use. In addition, it displays the exact value in real time on the display that you're using. The first clip you'll hear was recorded with the AMC3 controlling the CC1 and CC11. So let's go ahead and listen to that now. Now the next, the next clip is the same, but this time I'll go ahead and adjust it as it's playing real time. So the next clip is another example of using the CC11 and 7 and 1. So let's go ahead and listen to this clip. And again, it'll be this one was actually done using the Synchron Elite String, so it's a 2D patch. So let's go ahead and listen to that. And then the last example is also by uh, Elite Strings. So you see it has a real fine control on the throw, like I said, it's about four inches. And it really makes a difference when you're trying to get the dynamics, the expression, the volume, and the CC1, which gives you the crossfade, dynamic crossfade of your instruments, which is essential 
in getting the sound that you want. So how do we go about programming it and where do we get it? Well, the website is just type in amc3midicontrollers.com and this will come up and it tells you more about it. And uh, the first thing you want to do to get it working is jump to the programming, the AMC3 information. And once you've done that, it explains the process. But the first thing you want to do is click here and download what's called TY Tools. And then after you've done that, You can scroll down to this page again, and there will be a couple of example files that you'll want to download by clicking here and here. And see three fader settings for Spitfire and one for Contact. And they're just text files, so you can easily uh, upgrade or update them and change them to whatever values you want. Just to give you an example, I have the TY commander running now. And so if you click on serial and then select send file, it opens up a directory and then you just choose, I happen to have a, a TY commander text files here. And so the one I've been using is right here. I can change it with any of these settings here, but once you select the file, you open it. Then you go to the serial <clears throat> row here, and then just click send, and then you'll see it updating your values. Notice I have, well, I'll show you what the file looks like. It's going by fairly fast here. And so that has then programmed it to whatever values were programmed. In particular, let's go ahead and take a look at the file itself that I used. Here's a synchron. So what we have here is the format and the first field here is the slider number. The second one is your CC value, and your third one is your MIDI channel. So MIDI channel one, CC seven. The second slider is CC 11, MIDI channel one. Third slider is CC one and MIDI channel one. And also you have a, an LED value, which you can increase up to 15, so it'll make it brighter or less bright, depending on the value that you choose. So just go to the website. I'll, I'll put the website in the description. And that pretty much wraps it up. So this is Building Fadden, signing off for Tone Pure Music.